Welcome to the Smart Cell Insight or SCI demonstration series for release 3.6. In this demonstration, I'll show you the data that can be obtained and the activities that can be performed in the Admin tab. From here we can see system status, perform system upgrades, and view the configurable settings of SCI, including viewing configured controllers and adding new ones. We'll look at the diagnostic information available, as well as configuring an outgoing mail server, defining how much data to retain, and the licensing options for SCI. So let's get started. Here we have the Smart Cell Insight login screen. The username we can put in here is admin, and I'll put in the password here, and we'll log in. As always, when you first log in to SCI, it'll bring you to the Overview tab, and it'll show you information about the previous day and the current day uh, in the information here. But what we're curious about is the Admin tab, which is down over here on the bottom. We're going to click on that, and the first thing it's going to do is take us to the Status and Update uh, sub-tab of that tab. What we can see here are all the nodes that are part of this particular cluster. Uh, what we have in this particular cluster is uh, two data nodes and one master node. Uh, it shows us the state of the nodes with a colored circle. Over here we've got green circles for the node status. Uh, these are all in good operational form. We get the IP addresses, the IDs, and the node tokens, which the node tokens, of course, are used uh, by, the different, uh, by the different nodes in the system to identify each other. They're basically authentication parameters that allow them to communicate with each other. We also have a notification section here. This will tell you if there are any notifications or issues with the system. Uh, they'll have a level associated with them to know how much concern you should have about them, the source of that notification, the type of notification, and a message and the details associated with it. And at the bottom, we have the update section that shows you the current version of SCI that's running on the system and a latest version and allows you a single click upgrade option to update this to the more current version. Uh, we're doing the series on 3.6. Now 5.0 is available, uh, but we're going to keep it at 3.6 for now. The next sub-tab we'll look at is the Diagnostic sub-tab. So clicking on that brings us over here. Uh, what we have here are basically the three main components of SCI and lets you run diagnostics on each of those components. So again, the Spark Master is the main engine created by Apache. That's the data puller and the processor of all that data. The HDFS is the file system of SCI and storing. it's responsible for storing the data and can be checked through its own diagnostics through the link here. The Druid coordinator provides communication management of the nodes in the system. So just a, a quick thing you can get from the diagnostic info. Um, if you click on the Spark Master, um, it provides the details of the workers, the running applications, the running drivers, uh, completed applications, and completed drivers. So th this tab will give you information about the Spark component of it. Uh, if you click on the HDFS link, uh, it'll get you to information about the data lake and the raw data storage. So the HDFS, or Hadoop file system, provides the details of the data nodes, the data node volume failures, snapshot summaries, startup progress, and utilities such as logs and browsing the file system. And the last one are the Druid controller and the Druid overlord. Uh, these are the components that uh, provide details of the data sources, the cluster, and the indexing services. So these are things that you're typically only going to go into when you're working with technical support on an issue based on a notification you saw. So the notification will lead you to which component to look at, and they'll walk you through looking through any of these diagnostic tools that are particular to that component of the system and help you diagnose whatever problems are going on. The next sub-tab that we're going to go to is the Settings tab. The first thing we see in the Settings tab is the system information. Uh, these are the smart zones or other controllers that are available that are connected to SCI that are passing information to SCI for it to analyze and pull together to provide all of the reports that are generated by the system. So we have four here. Uh, each of the instances we see here are provided they provide a system ID a type, so all of these are smart zones and they're all running greater than or equal to version 3.5, the URL that points to that particular smart zone instance, the admin name for logging into that smart zone, and the last time we've seen communications from that smart zone. So these are all still green. They'll have red notification messages if they haven't been seen, and they'll give you a, a timestamp of when the last time they were communicated with, so those can be indications of some problems. This is also where you're going to add smart zones. If you're adding more smart zones to the system, you just click this Add button here, and it'll come up with this screen. Now you'll notice if we go through here and change the different type of controller it is, so a zone director, uh, each one will want different information. 
So you'll need to look at the installation guide for what's required for the particular version of controller that you're running that you want to manage with SCI. Once you do all that and put all that information together, you'll click the Create button and you'll create a new Smart, uh, smart Zone instance association with SCI. The next thing you configure here is the outgoing mail server. So this is an SMTP server for sending reports. So when we go through the other report tabs and you click the schedule tabs or other ways of, of generating emailed reports, this is the outgoing mail server that you have to configure to allow those emails to be sent out with those reports. Those reports can go out in multiple formats in a PDF or CSV, but they have to have a valid mail server to be able to send that out. So this is where that's configured for your other diagnostic uh, information tabs and uh, report generation. Last thing we have down at the bottom is the data retention. This is the period of months to store data. So remember, you're collecting a lot of data from potentially hundreds of smart zones or any other controllers. So if you're collecting a data from a lot of controllers, that data is going to add up and going to take a lot of extra space for you. So you may not want to hold on to that data for a significant period of time. Perhaps you'll maybe opt to start emailing those off as CSVs and monthly or annual uh, dumps of all the data so that you don't have to store it here in SCI. So what this does is when it hits that 18 month mark on this configuration, it's going to dump whatever data is prior to that 18 month mark and only keep 18 months of data. Now, we just adjust this by sliding this bar to whatever we want. Um, it can be uh, anywhere in months from 1 to 60 months, and we're going to keep it back here at 18 months and not do an update. And the final sub-tab we have here is the license sub-tab. So over here, we have three types of licenses that are really available for SCI. Uh, you have the instance license that provides the ability to run the SCI instance and perform data collection. You have the capacity SCI license that provides the amount of APs that data can be collected from. And you have the support license that provides the ability to contact Ruckus support for any issues experienced in SCI. New licenses can be obtained from whatever channel you purchase Ruckus products and licensing from. And when you purchase that license, it'll be in the form of a file. So you'll download that file and to get into SCI, you'll just simply click in this box, locate the file, uh, click open and upload the file into the SCI system to make it operational. So that's what we have in the admin tab. You know, we can see system status, perform system upgrades, we can view all these configurable settings of SCI, uh, we can add new controllers, we can view existing controllers, uh, we can delete controllers, we can look at diagnostic information, and we can configure that mail server for generating reports and sending them out to external uh, customers or admins or anything else. Uh, we can set up data retention and how much data we want to store in the SCI system, and we can configure licensing for SCI. Well, thank you for viewing this presentation. Hope it was helpful to you. We look forward to you coming back for more presentations in the future. Thank you.